Hello, everyone. Thanks for all the feedback, comments, and all the messages. Um, got tons of them requesting uh, more videos, especially adding details to the nose. So here we are. Uh, this could be a two or three part um, lesson about just adding nostrils and uh, some details to the nose, which we left. I was I thought you guys should be able to figure it out, but since I got so many messages, I thought okay, uh, I should I should maybe. I do a couple more. So let's get started. Uh, first thing what I want to do is maybe add one more, um, you know, segment or some more edges here. So let's start by selecting these guys, uh, holding down the control key, just selected four edges and connect. And then I'm going to jump to my vertex mode, select these two vertices and connect them. All right, so this way we have this edge coming all the way and, you know, going to the nose. Uh, you would notice we ended up having a triangle. Uh, don't worry, we would come back and fix that later on. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and start moving these new points we just added. So I'm going to select these two guys and move it like this, giving a bit round shape to the nose. And again, you you know I'm not using any reference images, so if you have one, you probably would want to match it to the one uh, you are using. Uh, but these guys are not constraining to the edges. I'm just moving them around freely. So let's grab this guy, move it something like this. All right. And I'm going to start by selecting, let's see, these six vertices, constrain them to edges, and then move them a little bit like that, and then work on them one by one. Let's see. That should be good enough. Okay. Maybe this guy can come here. And again, I'm, I'm not spending a lot of time in uh, fixing the proper shape here but um, uh, that's good for now let's go ahead by adding some more details um, what I want to do first is throw in some more edges to work with and let's uh, start go back to our edge mode and what I'm gonna do is select this edge here control key Select these three guys and then go up like that in this direction. And then go around like that. So in total, we should have nine edges selected. And again, get in the habit of keeping your eyes here uh, for confirming the right selection. And let's go ahead and connect it and you would end up with something like this. A nice edge going from here all the way to here. Okay, um, let's start moving it around a little bit. So again, I'm gonna work on the bottom part here, still constraining it to the edge. Hold down control key, these two edges can go like that. Jump to the vertex mode around like that. Okay, this guy can come down. Something like this. Go up. Like that. This guy can go here. And that's good for now. <clears throat> so, let's see. Uh, at the bottom level here, a triangle and a five-sided poly, but we would be adding more details and take care of this issue. So let's select one, two, three, and then this one, connect. Okay, so we ended up with something like this. Okay, let's move some more points around. Like that. here and 
if I simply connect this vertex with this guy here, we at least took care of the multi-sided polygon here and ended up with the two quad, two quads, which is probably what we need. And let's move this guy around, something like this. And everything looks okay except this big triangle here, which I'm not gonna worry about because we are gonna extrude this inside. And what we can do here is simply select this edge and remove it. So now we have a big uh, five-sided polygon which we would extrude inside, but over here everything looks like a quad, which is what we want. All right, uh, let me pause the video just to check how much time. Uh, hope I'm not reaching the 10 minute limit. Give me a second. Okay, so I got four more minutes. Um, so yes, definitely it would be a two part video. Um, at least. Um, so let's see. What I want to do at this point is um, maybe start uh, before I move things around, maybe add some more edges. So go back to the edge mode and I'm going to select this guy here. Control key, one, two, three, and four. Uh, these four edges I'm going to connect, okay, adding this guy here, and then I'm going to jump to my vertex mode, connect these two guys like that, okay, everything is good, two triangles and a five-sided poly, uh, pretty easy to fix. The triangle, we can simply remove this middle edge and end up with a quad. Good enough. Now we have a five-sided poly and a triangle. Um, the easiest way to fix that is if we jump to the insert vertex mode, turn on the snap, add one vertex here, right click to finish, get out of the snap mode, go to the my vertex level, and connect it with this guy adding this new edge. And that way, if I get out of my edge constraint mode and move it a little bit, you would notice we took care of that triangle and have all the quads to work with. So I'm gonna stop this video for now and in part two, we're gonna start moving these new vertices around and give it a shape. Uh, I'll see you in part two.